Well, Frank, I guess it goes without saying you're looking to bounce back and maybe get back the momentum that maybe you built up in the previous three games. Yeah, correct. Um, try to get a result away. I think um, performance against Swindon was solid in parts, but uh, obviously we lost the game, so trying to get another result now against Newport will be the most important next step for us as a team. Do you feel things have, have, have changed since the new head coach came in? Yeah, I feel like I think with any anything any new change, there's always a new spunk that comes into the group. I've been in plenty of situations where that's happened and it's happened here. Can't let the defeat on um, last weekend you know, affect the next game that's coming up. This is a massive game uh, early on in the season, the position they're in. So hopefully we can make the most of it and go up there and, uh, and cause a cause an upset up there. Yeah, I guess it's whichever way you look at it. Some people would say too early in the season to call it a six-point, if you want to use that cliche. But the fact of the matter is that the next two games are against teams in and around you at the right end of the table. Yes, exactly. Yeah, um, It's too early, I think, to call any, ga- any game a six-pointer. But for us personally, we want to go there. And, you know, if we, we win the game, we go on top of them in the league. So that's got to be motivation in itself. What's, what's missing? Why aren't things clicking at the moment? That's why we're out here every day, trying to work, work, work on, work on things and try, you know, hit, trying to get the, the, the train going. Really, I think you know, the last couple of games before Swindon, you know, things looked quite bright, and even the home game we played against Harrogate, I think everything clicked as a team. It worked really well. So there is a team in there that can, you know, get results in this league. It's just about trying to be as consistent as we can and finding the right formula. And I think we're working every day to, to get that. Yeah, as, as you say, going down to Newport, we, we know it, we know it's one of your former clubs, but they're going to have a new manager in charge as well, so we, we could see the effect for them, so that's something to be wary of. Yeah, yeah, I didn't even know they, that they have a manager. Uh, that's news to me. Yeah, we can't focus on them, it's all about us, really. Uh, go down there and just try to get a result at the end of the day. We're working really hard at, on the training picture to, to, to get the results that we want. And we feel like our squad can produce, so... You know, manager's got a decision to make a game on the team to play and, and the boys who are going to be on the bench be ready to come and make a difference. Is this the thing as well that everyone talks about the squad, talks about the depth of the squad, talks about the quality within the squad, that, that things haven't quite click, clicked and, and, and again that just has people wondering why is, is there one singular thing? Again, it'll be hard, it's hard to, to nitpick on the squad or you know, how things have been going because I think every game we've played, we've been well in the game, we've lost by, by the odd goal here, here or there. Just about, just keep going. This, this league is so um, unforgiving. You know, you could have three decent or average performances and lose all three uh, in a week. Then it looks like you, you know you've had a terrible season. Oh, you know, so far but we could have uh, two good results in the next two. Then we're back in mid table. So for us, you just got to stay strong mentally and keep going. From a personal point of view, you must be pleased to be finding the net on a fairly regular basis. Yeah, no, it's good to get you know a couple of goals here or there in the last few games. Uh, the main thing for me is to maintain a good level of performance. And most times, if the attacking players are scoring, we're going to win games, aren't we? So we can't always rely on the back four, you know, as a team to defend, you know, well, and lose by one goal. We've got to hopefully you know score some of the other end. But I think we're working really hard to, to achieve that, and hopefully we can do that come the next game. Have you almost sort of accepted now that playing on the left-hand side of a, of a front three or the left-hand side of a three behind the striker mm. is is the position that gets the best out of you? Um, yeah, or not? From, no, no, yeah. For me personally, uh, yeah, I'm still waiting for a right back to, to lock me up in the game. It's never that's never been the case. It's all about how the team works. No individual player can shine unless your partnership with your fullback. You know, you build a relationship. It's been quite hard this season because you play one game with one player and you play another game with another player. You don't win games. Obviously, the team's going to change. So hopefully we can build relationships on the pitch. We're trying to do that every day on the training pitch. For me personally, as long as I'm positive and attacking, I feel like I won't be stopped on my side. So hopefully that can, you know, reproduce them performances and be more consistent.